lines, and you never know, Phil, what you might find in a thrift store or a garage sale. That's pretty cool. I'd rather have that lottery ticket, though, I think. All right, thank you very much, Elaine Reyes with the World News. On to the global slowdown. Well, in a different way in terms of airplanes. American companies specializing in business jets hopes that Chinese billionaires and their companies will boost the appetite for private flying. Nitza Perez shows off her first class ticket. The U.S. aviation industry has endured the worst three years since its inception in the 1930s. Numbers point to a slow recovery, but U.S. companies are looking into foreign growing economies to sell their aircraft. Now, I'm not here to try and tell anybody that the traditional strong markets of North America and Europe are going away. But over the next 20 years, the emerging markets on all of us in this room as OEMs, as suppliers, cannot be underestimated. Of course not. 1.3 billion people live in China, and they only have about 200 private jets in service. In the U.S., there are more than 10,000 business jets with a significantly smaller population. Palm Beach International Airport, north of Miami, is the world's second busiest for business jets and home for aircraft like this. The price tag for this private jet is $34 million. Because of China's expanding economy and demand for services, this is the kind of luxury that American aviation companies are trying to sell to Chinese businesses. Asian clients, and especially Chinese, favor space and volume. For many corporations, a jet is also a business card. The concept of face and pomp are very important for us Chinese people when we do business. We like to be luxurious and impressive because this is what our clients expect from us. This might sound like music to American companies' ears at the Shanghai Air Show. But there are reasons why the business jets could remain a scarce commodity in China. The limitations are, are uh, places to take off, places to land, and also the permits required for these jets to go from one place to another on short notice and on a random schedule. The Chinese central government's 12th five-year plan calls for the country to conditionally open low-altitude flights, the airspace occupied by business jets. But some experts believe that these changes might take decades, not years. So American investors' plan for making big cash can face extended delays. Nita Soledad Perez, CCTV, Miami, Florida. I love it. You and me on our next vacation. Michelle, on to you.